Well, my work usually, I'm, I'm more known for work that's political and that explores language, uh, the use of words. And, but I also paint abstract paint, I paint many abstract paintings all the time. But one example of a artist gallery relationship, uh, this would be a great example of this series of paintings that I've done that are in this exhibit. Uh, one day by, while visiting here with Mertice and Alex, Alex pulled me aside. I was having a meeting about a big project we're working on together for uh, one of my other series. I also work in series. And Alex asked me if I heard of Henrietta Lacks. And I had heard the name before, but I couldn't recall where or why. And he said, man, you got to check out this book. It's, it's amazing, I think, your work and the way you work really relates. And so I dug in, started doing some research into the life of Henrietta Lacks and her immortal selves. And I thought how it's juxtaposed to the life of an artist. A uh, perfect example is Van Gogh, the easiest example, where this artist lived this life uh, of pain and he died with very little money, and his paintings are now worth gazillions of dollars. And this is the same life that Henrietta Lacks lived. Her cells are, to this day, they're more of her cells than anything, any cells of any sort. And they're used for all sorts of research, and it's been, there's no limit to the amount of money that's been made from herself, where she probably got nothing from her because they were taken after she died. And her family has never got anything. And I thought that was interesting in the way that, for me, one of the romantic feelings I have about being an artist is that immortality, that when I'm gone, my work will outlive me. And that's really what inspires these paintings that I have uh, selected to do for this too. Well, my form in these paintings came from research in the HeLa cell uh, phase contrast microscopic imagery, where there are these beautiful colors, shapes of her cells and how they are formed. And with the use, it's so funny when I listened to Calvin just a moment ago, you're the first artist I've heard of using the word well, spray bottle. Because <laughs> that's like one of my major tools also, <laughs> is uh, I use the water with acrylic as well. And I use this technique that I was blessed enough to work with Sam Gilliam to get this technique. I had to give him credit exactly for it the luster in these paintings that I have here, which uh, gave me an opportunity to create these layers, which allow light to go through the colors and separate the colors so that you can see between them. And that's one way I got the, the light of the question. Uh, the form, light, color is just, I love color. No way to really get away from that. One of the things with these paintings, though, was important was the color, the use of the color green and the fluorescence, because that's one of the main things used in creating these images and cells. Uh, so I wanted to keep that as part of the series as well. 